the master section is the final block in the signal path before the audio is sent to the audio hardware, to an audio file or to the audio meters. This is where you adjust the master levels, add effects, resample and apply dithering. The settings and effects in the master section are taken into account in the following cases. When playing back an audio file in the audio editor or an audio montage. It is also used when using the render function, also when using the audio input and when writing a CD from an audio montage. The master section consists of the following panes. Effects. This is where you can load Wavelab's own and any compatible third-party plugins to apply to your audio signal. The routing is even configurable to apply to only left, right, stereo, mid or side channels, allowing you, for example, to use plugins with separate left and right controls for mid and side channels instead. You can also integrate outboard gear using the external effects plugin to send to and receive audio from devices such as an analog EQ. Resampling can be useful when needing to convert sample rates on the fly and also when wanting to play back files with odd sample rates that your audio interface does not support. The master level can be adjusted, locked and left and right unlinked. You can choose to monitor in mono, left only, right only, mid or side channels if needed. Final effects, dithering, is where you would load any dithering plugins. Playback processing is the place in the signal chain to load any plugins you want to use for headphone or speaker correction. Or use Wavelab's encoder checker to compare the impact of different audio codecs onto your audio signal. Last but not least, the speaker configuration pane allows you to set up and switch between up to four different speaker setups. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.